Over the last few days, I've noticed that the girls are doing a lot more dust bathing, which can mean something is up. And then when I checked the coop last night, I noticed that as I was walking away, I could feel bugs scratching in my scalp just from leaning into the coop. And so we have some kind of a poultry mite in the coop. And so that's gonna make their lives miserable. And it can also lead to ma other major health problems if you don't uh, you know, kind of cut it off at the pass. And so first off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give them some diatomaceous earth to put in spots that I know that they like to d dust bathe. Uh, that'll help kind of reduce the population of the mites. I'm going to focus on doing a deep cleaning of the coop to get rid of poultry mites. So the first thing that I do is get all of the old bedding out and then I remove the nesting boxes, get them in the sun and get them thoroughly sanitized. Now there are a number of different substances or methods that you can use to disinfect the coop. I mentioned diatomaceous earth as something that you can add to the dust bath, but it is also destructive to insects because it has a very jagged profile when you look at it up on a, on a microscope. And that jagged profile tends to tear apart and damage the exoskeleton of insects. So that's awesome. It's also food safe and it's safe for the chickens to be around. So you can kind of place that in the, uh, in the coop, dust the coop with that. The other thing that you can do is dilute either vinegar or bleach. Vinegar is always going to be safe. Uh, bleach you have to be careful with because if, if you do this at the end of the day and then you put the chickens in the coop, you could end up killing them because of the fumes. So if you're going to use bleach, make sure that you dilute it properly and then make sure that there's enough time for the coop to air out. And then another solution is a poultry spray, a mite spray specifically designed for cleaning out a coop and removing mites. Now, once you've removed all of the loose material out of the coop, now it's time to disinfect. Now you need to try to get every surface inside the coop and even some areas are outside the coop if you feel like they're getting infested. Because you have to remember these mites are tiny. And so you have to be super diligent to get rid of these annoying little pests. Now I lined the bottom of my chicken coop with stick-on tiles. It's a cheap solution to make cleaning out the coop that much easier. Now after you've used your poultry spray or your vinegar mix or your bleach mix, make sure you allow the coop to air out, let all the fumes clear away, and then you can put it back together. So there you have it. It's important to keep the coop clear of mites because when you have mites in the coop, chickens are scratching, they're feeling stressed, and egg production drops. And in some cases even stops altogether. And we don't want that. We wanna make sure that our, our chickens are happy and producing high quality eggs. If you like this video, you might like these.